My name is Laura Barfield, and I'm in the communications department at CBG. I like to consider myself a storyteller for the airport, and part of that involves getting out in the community and talking about all the things that we're doing here, a lot of which might surprise you. Hello, my name is Lindsay Wiggins, and I work in the human resources department at CBG Airport. Our role is to bring new talent into the organization and also showcase the many careers we have on campus. To start off, here are some quick facts about CBG. The airport owns 7,700 acres in Boone County, Kentucky. However, we serve the entire region of Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio, centered around Cincinnati as the largest city in our region. The airport consists of over 14,000 badged employees, working for over 70 on-campus employers. That number consists of employees of the airport authority itself, as well as airlines, contractors, concessionaires, and even government agencies like the TSA and the FAA. No matter who you work for at the airport, you must receive a CIDA badge, which shows that you have learned the different regulations that come with working in a secure site. So what do all these numbers mean? The airport has a $6.8 billion annual economic impact on the Cincinnati region. As a top employer, our mark on the regional economy is significant. We are the seventh largest cargo airport in North America. You might have heard of two small companies, DHL and Amazon. DHL is a top employer in our region with 4,500 employees on our campus. They're one of the world's largest shipping companies. We are one of three global hubs for them, the other two being in Hong Kong and Leipzig, Germany. Most of their operations take place at night as they primarily handle international air cargo and shipping. Odds are you've seen some of these bright yellow planes flying above your house before. A newer partner is Amazon, whose hub facility will open later in 2021. When it is complete, this building will be 3 million square feet, with enough space to park over 85 aircraft wing to wing on its ramp. Amazon will start off with 2,000 employees and will continue to grow as they expand at CBG. A direct result of all of our cargo operations was the construction of the Theme Hangar, a 103,000 square foot facility that is large enough to accommodate the wide body aircraft you typically see used for air cargo. This facility opened in early 2020. Theme employs about 100 aircraft mechanics, which is another career you can jumpstart here at CBG. Let's go back in time and take a look at our airport. CBG has a rich history in our region. CBG opened in 1944, originally used for Army practice runs during World War II. The very first commercial flight was on January 10, 1947, operated by American Airlines and arriving from Cleveland. The second commercial flight was on Delta Airlines. CBG is the airport's code and is an abbreviation for Covington, Kentucky which was the closest big city to the airport in 1947. CVG looks a lot different now from how we did in 1947, as we have obviously expanded quite a bit. We have four runways in our airfield. They are 8,000, 10,000, 11,000, and 12,000 feet long. Those are substantial lengths and have helped CVG literally land a lot of business here, specifically the cargo activity that we spoke about earlier. So how was the airport actually organized? When we say CVG, who is that actually referring to? To start, Lindsay and I work for CVG, the owner and operator of the airport, which is what we are going to do a deep dive into today. As you can see, the rest of the airport consists of separate businesses and entities that operate on site and lease facilities from us, as if we are a landlord. These companies include airlines, concessions and dining, federal employees such as the TSA and Customs and Border Protection, rental car companies, and general terminal operations. It can be confusing if you don't know the structure, but know that we represent CVG, the airport authority itself. Our administrative offices are located at the CVG Center, the former Comair headquarters. This is where many of our airport's administrative departments work. Things like finance, human resources, IT, planning and development, contracts procurement, as well as our badging office. We have many other employees working across the airport campus on our maintenance teams. We have a facilities maintenance department that includes electricians, HVAC technicians, plumbers, and other specialized jobs that maintain all functioning systems across our facilities. We have apprenticeship opportunities available within this team. Next is the fleet maintenance department. 
who maintain and work on our extensive fleet of vehicles and equipment. We own an entire fleet of equipment from big snow plows to police cruisers and fire trucks. Our fleet maintenance team is full of mechanics who are specialized to work on the variety of vehicles we have on site. Like the rest of our maintenance teams, we have apprenticeship opportunities here where you study under a professional and graduate with a full-time position and no student loans. There's also field maintenance who maintain our fields or our property. This includes cutting the grass across all of our land and maintaining grounds by way of horticulturists. We have a field maintenance garage where all their equipment or toys are stored. Their biggest yearly endeavor is winter operations, where a team works 24-7 on call to keep our roadways and airfield open for operations during our unpredictable Midwestern winters. This includes using Vamas snowplows, which are 68 feet long, require specialized training to drive, and cost over $850,000 a piece. They consist of a plow, a broom, and a scrubber all in one, and they go down our runways in a V formation with the ability to clear a runway in under 30 minutes. We hire part-time seasonal employees for these positions, so if you're interested, we start posting listings for this in the late summer, early fall, and are always looking to fill our team. Additionally, we have airport operations agents who monitor our airfield on a daily basis to ensure all markings meet federal regulations and that runways and taxiways are safe to use. They go on multiple inspections of our airfield every day, down each runway and back, making sure everything is as it should be, with no debris or animals on the airfield, and no signs falling down. We also have our own fire department on site, ARF, or Aircraft Rescue and Firefighting. We have two firehouses at CVG positioned in such a way so we can meet federal regulations for response times to anywhere on our campus, but especially to the runways. Our firefighters work 24 hours on, then 48 hours off and sleep in our firehouses. The coolest thing about our fire department is definitely the equipment. We have specialized bright green crash trucks that are different from your standard fire truck. They're designed for and are capable of going off-road so they can respond to any kind of incident. These fire trucks hold and can expel the entire contents of a swimming pool to put out fires. Water sprays out the top nozzle as well as out the bottom of the truck. They also utilize a foam component to extinguish fires. Here's a close-up of that same truck and its sharp snozzle. They are able to pierce the side of an aircraft so firefighters can spray water inside a plane without having to enter it. Something unique about our fire department is that many of our firefighters are also EMTs. Most of the runs they perform on a daily basis are medical incidents. So helping travelers in our terminal who may need some medical assistance. This could be something like feeling lightheaded or dizzy. They're able to respond and help quickly. Something we're lucky to have on site related to ARF are our training facilities. Not a lot of airports have these, so we will have people travel to CVG specifically to train on our simulators and equipment. We have a fire simulator, which firefighters practice extinguishing. It gets extremely hot with a lot of smoke. We also have this airplane simulator that we will fill up with smoke, so firefighters can experience what it is like to enter a cabin in that state, which is very disorienting. Of course, these are skills we hope we never have to actually put to use, but you can be rest assured our team is top-notch and highly trained for any incident. Close to our training simulators are large glycol tanks, which are used by our environmental operations and compliance team. This is another career path that not many people realize is available at the airport. Glycol is used during our winter de-icing processes. Aircraft are de-iced on special pads around the airport. The fluid drains to special reservoirs to be treated before being released. This is where our environmental compliance team comes into play. Water is siphoned into these tanks, then treated with small bugs or microbes that eat the glycol and purify the water, which can then be released into the environment. More than 400 million gallons of water are treated each year at CVG, ensuring we are a good neighbor and steward for the local ecosystem. Along with having our own fire department, we also have our own police department. The airport PD, along with the TSA and Customs and Border Protection, are another critical element to ensure our travelers and employees are kept safe. Our police department consists of a variety of different roles. First off, and importantly, our loss and found department is located at our police station, 
So if you ever misplace something at CBG, you might be reunited with it thanks to this system. We also have a team of telecommunicators or dispatchers that operate as the eyes of the airport 24 seven and can dispatch help or assistance as needed. PD also consists of roughly 50 sworn officers who monitor our terminals and the roadways and land around the airport. Within this team is a canine unit who search for narcotics and explosives. You might see these four-legged officers out and about during your time at CVG. They work closely and bond with their handler and get to retire with them after their time at CVG to enjoy retirement with their families. You'll also notice public safety officers at our curbside, keeping traffic moving and flowing smoothly, as well as at the TSA security checkpoint. All of these roles make up our police department, who are dedicated to protecting and serving our community. If you ever need assistance, an officer is always close by, so feel free to ask for help or even call dispatch. Now that we've covered our operational career paths, folks that keep CBG functioning on a daily basis, we do have quite a few departments that work in our airport terminal or the building you're probably the most familiar with at CBG. When you approach CBG, you might notice a brand new structure on our curb front, which is a great example of what our planning and development team does. If you are interested in a career in engineering, this team is where you should explore. This new facility is our CONRAC, or Consolidated Rental Car Facility. This building enables our travelers to get off their plane and walk to get a rental car without ever leaving the main terminal versus taking a shuttle to a faraway parking lot, as is currently the case. This is a huge improvement to the traveler experience and a $180 million project that has been organized, developed, and executed by our airport engineers. Now we're at curbside, which might be one of the most exciting places to be, the place everyone experienced right as you begin your trip. At CVG, we have two concourses, A and B. A has 23 gates and is home to Allegiant, Air Canada, Frontier, Southwest, Sun Country, Alaska Air, and United. Concourse B has 28 gates and is home of Delta and American Airlines. This is also where all of our international flights take place and it is where Customs and Border Protection's Federal Inspection Facility is located. We have a lot of concession and dining options at the terminal, which are the source of many jobs on site. We have some great local dining options at CVG. Graders, Moreline Lager House, and at Cork and Bottle are some of the ways we highlight our region's local offerings. While these jobs do not work directly for CVG, we support our concession partners in creating a successful workforce and always list available positions on our job portal, jobs.cvgairport.com. Also working in our terminal is our customer experience team, including our housekeepers, who keep the facilities clean and safe at all times. CVG remained open throughout the pandemic in 2020 and 2021, which was important for essential travel. Thanks to the dedication of our housekeepers, we were able to provide a clean and healthy way for travelers to get where they needed to go. Our customer experience team is concerned with, you guessed it, the traveler's experience at the airport. They are there to help travelers manage relationships between our tenant companies, such as airlines and the TSA, as well as a million other things, many of which go unseen, but would be noticed if they ever stopped. Another team that works on site is a career path you might not associate with the airport, and that's our signage and graphics department. They produce all of our signage, from roadway and runway markings and signs, to pop-ups and wall clings within the airport. They also wrap all of our vehicles and create our terminal maps. This team is an invaluable resource at the airport as they are able to bring a lot of graphics jobs in-house and are able to create projects quickly and efficiently. So if you're interested in art or graphic design, this could be a career path for you. These are definitely not all of the jobs on site at the airport terminal. With so many badged employees and so many different on-site employers, the possibilities at CVG are truly endless. If you're ever interested in who is hiring at CVG, you can visit our job portal at jobs.cvgairport.com. As operations at the airport increase, we're always looking towards the next generation of aviation professionals. As always, we hope to see you at the airport soon, whether working here or taking a trip somewhere exciting. Thanks for watching.